He paid the debt. I could not pay. I owed the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. Now I can sing a brand new song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt that I could never pay. He paid it down. He paid the debt. I did not owe. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I needed someone to wash my sins away. strong. Shout the blood of Jesus three times louder. The blood of Jesus Christ. Shout it, my father, my maker. Every oppression of the wicked against my happiness, against my expectation, scatter by fire. Clap your hands and pray every oppression of the wicked, every of the activity against my happiness. I terminate it. I terminate it. I terminate it. I command it be frustrated. Mm -hmm. 
We pray in Jesus' name. Sit and God bless you. You're blessed and highly welcome in Jesus' name. Visions of rapture now rest on my side. Angels descending, bring from above a ghost of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the Now look at your Bible with me this morning. Matthew 27 verse 21 to 24. Matthew 27 from verse 21 to 24. I want to look at the testimonies of Jesus. The governor answered and said unto them, whether of the twin will you that I release unto you, they said Barnabas. Verse 22, Pilate said unto them, what shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all said unto him, let him be crucified. Verse 23, and the governor said, why? What evil had he done? But they cried out the more, saying, let him be crucified. Now, verse 24, let's read together. Are you reading or you are just uh, let's read together again. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing but that rather a mouth was made he took water and washed his hands before the multitude saying I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Now verse 25, look at what the people cried back. Somebody using his mouth to lay curse on himself. Verse 25, then answered all the people and said, his blood be upon us and on our children. Did they hear? Pilate said, no, I don't want, to. I wash my hand and I remove my hand out of this. He's an innocent man. He's a just man. I found nothing to lay the accusation against him. They said, if you're afraid of his blood, don't worry, we collect it. They said, this and let it be upon them. Only say, even upon their children. That children means even the children unborn. Let the blood be upon our head. See somebody using his mouth to carry cross. But that's not where I'm heading to this morning. This morning I want to share the testimony, the various testimonies about the law. See them, pastors. Various testimonies. The various testimonies. Not just about only Pilate. Starting from the father. In Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. Matthew 3, 17, what, what was the testimony there? 
And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son. Huh? My beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. The father called him beloved son. It's a testimony. Heaven testified about Jesus that he's a beloved son. He's a beloved son. When it was, that was the encounter of baptism in River Jordan and the heaven opened. The father said, this is my beloved, in whom, my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Now, even the demons on this earth also testified about the personality of Jesus. Mark chapter 1 verse 25. Mark 1 25. And Jesus rebuked him saying, Hold thy peace and come. Give me 24 first. 24. Then 25. It's verse 24 I'm looking for. Saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Thou, so, thou Jesus of Nazareth, had thou come to destroy us, I know that thou art the Holy One of God. The demons called him the Holy One of God, which means the saint of God. So even the demons saw him and testified. He's a holy one of God. He's a saint. Sent from God. The traitors called him innocent in Matthew 27 verse 4. Matthew 27 verse 4. They called him innocent. Say, I have seen in that, I have betrayed what the innocent blood. And they said, what is it that was? See that thou, see thou to that. Now, who was that person they are talking to? Brother Judas. At last, he noticed that it's an innocent blood. Onye di mozi na madu ne nye kele Kaji ho fapu Onye di mozi na madu ne nye kele Kaji ho babu Onye di mozi na madu Na boy si ala nye Otie Mso Otie In number 227, verse 24, Pilate called him just. A just man. Now, read verse 24 of that. We have read Matthew 27. Then Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made. He took water and washed his hands before the multitude said, I am innocent of the blood of this word, just person. 
see you do it. Even Pilate saw him as a just man. In the midst of your challenge, may people see you like that. Yeah. Let somebody be a witness and say, no, this person is a child of God. Let's still go. Point five. Am I correct? The thief on the cross said, he has done nothing wrong. Luke 23, 41. Luke 23, 41. And we indeed just live for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man had done nothing amiss. Now let's read 41, 42 again. And he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Verse 43. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. You see, God is still giving us opportunity even at the, um, in the last minute of our life because our soul is interested and important to him. This is a tip that he was already, on the, was already condemned for what he had done. But the few minutes he had to live, he grabbed salvation. He saw Christ, he recognized him and said, we are suffering for what we know, for what we have done. But this one, I am sure, even though I am not a normal human being who have committed, but I know that he is a savior. He said, please remember me. Verse what did you read? Let's repeat that verse now. Media, give us back that verse. And it was, no, verse 43 and Jesus said to him verily I said unto thee today not tomorrow today door is open for you because you have confessed with your mouth and that is the procedure for salvation he said today thou shalt today, today shall thou be with me as I'm crossing I'm holding in the hand keep me as the apple of thy eyes under the shadow of thy wings From the wicked that oppress me My deadly enemy Who compels me about Keep me at the apple of thy eyes Under the shadow of thy wings from the wicked that oppress me, my deadly enemy, who compass me about. Chebem di kamwanya gichineke, so bem no buru no kogi, na potam na joa, chebem poni. Jesus said today automatic ticket has been given he said today you'll be with me look at him. Now, but let's look at that 42 again. Look at that 42. Look at 42. Look at that 42. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, what did he say? Remember me when thou comest. Now, do you know what it means? He was a backslider. He was once a member. But he said today, renew my membership. That's what it means, remember. I was once a member who backslidden. So remake me a member and return me back to the fold. Jesus said, your ticket is granted. Your membership card is already with you. We are going together. The fountain of life 
is flowing everywhere. Whosoever dream shall never, never dust again. The river of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever dream shall never, never dust again. This week I want you to meditate on this word. The thief on the cross saw Christ recognize him. The river of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never test again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink. Shall never, never trust again. Finally, the centurion testifies, saying that he was the just. Luke 23 47. Now, the centurion saw that. So, sorry, what was done? He glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. Verse 48. And the people that came together had come again, and all the people that came together to the side, beholding the things which we had done. Smooth their breast and return. Oh, so ever dream shall never, never test again. The river of life is flowing everywhere. Who so ever dream shall never, never test again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never dust again. The river of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never dust again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink. Shall never, never dust again. The fountain of life yeah. is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, ever dust again. The river of life flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never dust again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink. River of life flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never dust again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, ever dust again. The river of life flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never, never dust again. The mountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never ever dust again. The river of life flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never never dust again. The fountain of life is flowing everywhere. Whosoever drink shall never ever dust again. Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are in trouble. The Lord reigns in my life today. Hallelujah, Jesus conquered the world. Hallelujah, Satan, you are in trouble. I 
salvation and renew your relationship with Jesus. Can I hear your amen? Yes. Well, look at we I'm going to conclude it and this is where we are going to pray. Go back to that Matthew 27 verse 25. Matthew 27 verse 25. Now, everybody read. One, two, three, go. What he said? Then answered all the people and said, his blood be upon us. You are going to pray. Every wrong decision your parents took that is affecting you. Did you hear what I said? They say, let it be upon us. And that our children, mean even children are born. One of the scriptures say, our children are our children's children. Any decision your parents took before, when I mean your parents, it may not be the present, it may be your grand, it may be your great grand. Whatever decision they took wrongly, that is fighting you today. Remember that every parent have the legal right to decide for their children. When they are still not of age. Are you hear what I'm saying? Yes. When they are not of age, they are, your parents will decide for you. And that's why you see Isaiah chapter 49, 24, talk about lawful captive. who will become a captive legally, but unknown to us. Because there was a decision made that didn't favor us. And they, they, they said, let it be upon us. So, now, this one now is, was when they crucified Jesus. But when Christ went to the cross... He released all of us and said, Father, forgive them. That was why, one of the reasons why he saw Jesus made that statement on the cross. Forgive them for they know not what they are doing. They have to pull that rope because they are ignorant of what they are saying. But what about the ones your parents, your, your grandfather, your great grandfathers did out of pressure, out of desperation, looking for help. Yet there is no help. They say, guide us, guide our children. And today you are fighting unknown battles, fighting others you don't know, fighting demons you don't know. Today is a little bit fair. Tomorrow is, is somehow hard because you don't know the hand fighting because there was a decision made even before you were born. The promise that day to say, we and our children will serve you. And now you grow up and say, I will serve Jesus. And now the thing is reacting. Now there is an altar somewhere that is against your decision of serving God. Trying to frustrate you, shouting, my father, my maker. Every wrong decision of my parents. Before I was born. Fighting my destiny today. Receive the judgment of God. 